So first, let's start with uh, pre the pre-alphabetic phase of word recognition. And this is, uh, this is going to be at that stage. Um, it's before the alphabet. So uh, the student is not uh, recognizing words in a text. In fact, it's, it's it literally in the name, it tells you where the student is. They are before the alphabet. They're, they're accessing a text through the pictures, the diagrams, the illustrations. They're, they would not be accessing the words on a page if it was written because they, they don't have the alphabetical principle yet to decode words. So if this was, I don't know what this is a picture of, let's say it's a dog. Okay, and they wouldn't have that background yet to decode uh, the print that's on the page. They'd only be accessing the page and what's on the page through the pictures and diagrams. It says here in the pre-alphabetic phase, children in a pre-alphabetic stage of reading do not yet understand letter sound relationships, meaning they don't have a background in the alphabetical principle yet. Uh, or even uh, know all the letters of the alphabet. So, so they're not even you know, let alone um, decoding this word or identifying that's a D, they're barely at that stage of going D-O-G. So this is, this is very, very early on, okay? Um, all right, this is this stage here. So it's before the alphabet. Uh, so if a child was at a pre-alphabetic stage of, of reading, right, you wouldn't do a decodable text because they don't have the alphabetical principle down, right? And you wouldn't do like an informational text or a chapter text because they're not ready yet to do, uh, to process those texts. You probably start with more of a like a predictable text or, or a picture book, something that um, the student would be able to access through the illustrations and drawings and a predictable text. That's something where uh, there's enough repetition in the text uh, that a student can pick up on the story and patterns in the story uh, just through that predictable, the way the predictable text is structured and supported with visual cues. We'll talk about those in a moment, okay? All right, this is that first stage.